Right, having done a video about the history of Amigas and some of the technical hoo-ha that goes with them, I thought I would show you some of the things that I used to do with my Amiga. This is a expanded 1200. Um, you're looking at Workbench at the moment, which is the Amiga operating system. It's like their equivalent of Windows. But it does some things that Windows doesn't. I've actually got three, I think, programs running at the moment. Now you could do what you can do in Windows, I think, where you can cycle through them like that. And, uh, yeah, it's all very easy. But something you could do on the Amigas as well, which I found very cool, you can drag a screen down. Now, these screens are in, they're running in different screen modes. This is 320 by 256. This is in 640 by 512. That's 320 by 256 again. Completely different screen modes, but you, they're all running at once. You can drag them up and down and all over the place, which is really quite cool. So yeah, this this program, this is Deluxe Paint 5 AGA. Um, it was the last version of Deluxe Paint done for the Amiga by Electronic Arts back when they weren't an evil corporation. They were still run by Trip Hawkins at this time. Um, they didn't just do games back then. Deluxe Paint, fantastic program. Um, it had a lot to do with why the Amiga kicked off in the first place. Um, because programmers, game designers, when they wanted to design graphics for their 2D games, Deluxe Paint was the program to use. You know, you could just work pixel by pixel and create brilliant graphics really easily. It was just the best thing to work with. The image you can see on here at the moment is something that I created a long time ago using another program. I don't have that installed at the moment, but it's a program called Imagine 3D 4. This was a ray tracing program, kind of along similar lines to um, Oh, what do they call it on the PC? Stu 3D Studio, 3D Studio Max, or Lightwave, stuff like that. Um, it was hugely expensive initially, but I went and bought a copy of it. It was Imagine 3, and I paid £100 for it, and I was absolutely gutted when about six months later they released Imagine 4 on a magazine cover disc. Though what I had that your average cover disc user didn't have was a manual, and you really needed that manual. It was hugely complex. I mean, you created your 3D models, and that in itself wasn't easy. And then texture map them, uh, you could render them, and ray tracing wasn't like your typical rendering. It traced every single ray of light from the light source hitting every object that was in there back to where the virtual camera was. And if you had multiple reflective surfaces, it could take an age. Now this image here took using a 50 megahertz 68030 three days to render, <laughs> which was rather horrifying. I had to use virtual memory, which was not something the Amiga did naturally. Uh, so, I mean, it really chewed my hard drive up. I did it again using the 68060 that's in the machine at the moment with the 32 megs of RAM, and it kicked it out in about six hours, which was quite pleasing. So, yeah, that's that, a fantastic program. It took me oh, two years, maybe getting on for three years, to really, really learn how to use that thing. And you didn't, you couldn't just do stills like this. You could animate you could do quite complex animations. I just started getting into that. Um, took me three years to learn it and probably about six months to forget how to use it. I, I bought a PC second hand, stopped using the Amiga for a while, went back to it, picked up Imagine, looked at it and just thought, duh! Uh, you know, I, I've forgotten so much about Amigas. I've, I've forgotten more than most people ever knew but I forgot that program very rapidly because it was so complicated. 
so anyway that's deluxe paint and imagine 3d this is Optimed Sound Studio now the Amiga has four sound channels which come out in stereo and they're 8 bit channels but some very clever software gets around that limitation and it uses the CPU to combine audio tracks and then oh how can I explain it it merges the multiple tracks that you've created into a stereo signal and then combines the 8 bit channels the four 8 bit channels to create one 14 bit stereo signal um, complicated bit not quite over my head but I'm, I'm struggling to explain it but yeah and uh, Optimed was like it was as good as he could get you know the Atari ST if you wanted to do MIDI if you were a professional musician you used the ST and external sound sources but if you just wanted to faff around make games in a way that a musician would look at and think huh but that was easy to a, a programmer or a just someone who likes to mess around with computers this was the program to have and I'm going to play you I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear that but this is something I did what 15 years ago maybe more I did a whole I did a six track CD of tunes like this because you could burn this out as a audio file onto a CD in 16 bits so you have proper CD quality audio Well, that's playing. I oh, know I'm going to talk all over it, so if you want to listen, you'll probably be quite annoyed. Drag that down. So it's all st that's still running. That's still running. It's a multitasking like you wouldn't believe. Internet. The the Amiga was the first machine I used to get onto the internet. This one's not connected at the moment. I mean, it's dial up, and I, I haven't got a phone line in this room, so it's not connected. But this is the browser. It's called Voyager. Uh, it's really, really clunky, old. There's no Java, there's no Flash, there's no Shockwave, there's no JavaScript. It's just straight HTML, and that's your lot. Um, very, very basic. But I, I used this for several years before I got a PC, and until I got a PC I didn't miss any of that stuff so I don't think it would go too well wouldn't work too well on the internet these days what do we got a newsreader no email yeah a whole load of stuff most of which I didn't use there's an FTP program in there somewhere and hell I don't even know what this stuff is anymore it's so long since I used it Yeah. Well, I'm going to kill that because that's just getting a bit. Okay. Go away. No, it's not going away. Seven workbench launch program. Yeah, I know that. Get off. This is one of the downsides with a uh, all your drag and drop. All right. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I can't stop the thing. because the tune's still playing and I've closed the window to stop the tune and it's pretty well locked up oh well
Yeah. I'm going to stop anyway now. So, uh... We'll just shut that up. That's better. Yeah, that's, that's what it's like to use the Amiga. Kind of quirky. Very versatile. Um, I mean, it does other stuff. It's got Office software, though I haven't installed any on here. Games galore. Masses of creative software. And this is just like scratching the surface. But anyway, that's that's what I wanted to show you really. Um, there's a video on my YouTube channel of of my Amigas. There's another one of my computer and consoles collection and loads of games. Thank you for watching.